Today, we are taking a look at Cadacio, which is an online interactive manual creator right out of the comfort of your own browser. You can easily create rich, animated, interactive assembly and service instructions using your CAD data. Cadacio is an online tool that helps designers build interactive, animated, and clear documents, in addition to product manuals, procedural guides, and assembly instructions that can be as basic or interactive as you want. And you can do that straight from the CAD data. With it, you can also improve user experience and create paperless documentations of your products. Technical documents such as guides and manuals can be a time-consuming process to set up, design, and create. However, Cadacio streamlines the process by coming up with slick, interactive results that can elevate the burden on both designers and consumers. Nowadays, a lot of manufacturers are still holding on to traditional way of creating technical documents, such as guides and manuals using paper form, even though we have computers and phones. On the other hand, other manufacturers are moving towards the digital manuals that you can follow. Companies such as IKEA created a huge library of video playlists on how to assemble their products. Manuals are traditionally 2D. They suffer from the lack of details such as limited image angles and putting the burden on the reader to interpret them correctly. If you have ever tried to assemble flat pack furniture before, such as the ones you find in IKEA, you can end up messing up the whole process because you can't tell which orientation you should attach the pieces or you can mess up mixing the both types. Using Cadacio on the other hand is extremely easy to use and allows the creator of the guides or the manual to create and represent it in the most immersive way possible using your existing CAD files to start creating steps and documentation for your model. You can use text, annotations, links, you can include images, and even embed a video inside your manual. Cadacio also has add-ins or add-ons which are integrated links for some of the major products and industrial design software including SOLIDWORKS, Fusion 360, Onshape, Inventor, and Solid Edge. This will make the integration between Cadacio and the software seamless, also easy to use. In addition, you can edit the original model and the manual will update automatically to reflect those changes. So you won't have to do it every time you want to make changes. This also means that you can start creating manuals even before finalizing the design of the product. The best way to start a new Cadastro project is using the add-ins. However, you can also use neutral CAD formats such as STEP or OBJ. Once the project has been created, you can open it in the designer and you can create as many steps as you want from start to finish by moving parts of the mesh and create a step-by-step -step guide on exactly how you can assemble or disassemble them. A pro tip and a great function that Cadastro provides is that you can easily flip the step and reverse the order so you don't have to repeat your work. Now, let's take a look at Cadacio's interface. The dashboard is divided into different sections, which are account, projects, library, and so on. The projects tab is where you store all the projects. You can also move them to the archive. In addition to that, you can watch interactive tutorials on how to use Cadacio. These tutorials I particularly like because you get a step-by-step -step detailed guides through the Cadacio's editor itself, which is really neat. The library tab is where you will find the toolbox, in addition to assets and fonts. Tools are the markups you use to highlight different functions or steps in your project like arrows, lines, labels, images, text, and even videos. You can have different tools for different purposes, like for human models, 2D, 3D, social media, etc. Assets are for images, videos, and so on. The fonts folder holds the fonts you upload or the ones you added to your account via Google Fonts. The designer workspace is extremely simple even for people with no CAD experience. The process is similar to a stop motion video. You can position your model or move some of its parts and then take a snapshot and move to the next pose and take another snapshot. And every time you move a component or part of your mesh, Cadencia will automatically animate it, so you don't have to animate each movement. All you need to do is go through all the stages of assembling your product while tracking a snapshot of each step. You can also add labels, text, images, dotted lines and arrows to further explain each step and communicate more information to the user. You can do that using the toolbox on the left. To animate the visibility of parts of your model, you can easily use the visibility eye icon on the right. If you hide an object and create a step, it will fade out automatically in the next step because you don't want all your parts to be visible all the time. At the bottom toolbar, you can change the material to be one of the options like glossy, flat, matte, metallic, technical, or tune, which is my favorite. 
you can choose the edges colors in addition to thickness, background type, and color. There is also an option to control the light in the scene. You can also adjust the camera and take a screenshot. The options are extensive if you want to customize anything you want in your design, but it is also very intuitive, so anyone can pick it up very easily. At the end of your project, you can either choose to export your work as an image, album, PDF, a video, or you can share it with anyone using a simple URL. You can also generate a QR code and embed Cadastro Player into your own website. The users and customers will later be able to view and interact with the guide on any device whether it is a smartphone or a tablet. If you want to try Cadastro and see it for yourself, the necessary links will be in the description below. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.